Hello, my name is Jorge Casillas from the University of Granada, Spain. In a previous video, we saw how to compute several partition measures and to build a table for comparing the results of different classification algorithms, like we are seeing here. Now we are completing the comparison by adding information not just about precision, but about complexity, about interpretability of the models. In the case of decision trees, when we see a, a decision tree, a way of measuring the complexity of the decision tree is the number of leaves, as we see here. I will show you a simpler decision tree. And here, as we can see, for example, the complexity of this decision tree is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We are using 6 leaves at the end. So, let's gonna compute it by with 9. What we, what we can do is, uh, the trick is to use this, decision tree to rule set. With this node, we are, we are we, as we can see here, we are converting decision tree to a rule set. So the output is like this. With the six rows, we are we saw in the decision tree but in form of rules we don't care about the rules we just want to know the size of this table so this table is is six so the size of the decision tree was six okay so this row we use statistics from this uh, table sorry then we filter to use only row count from here. We are interested in only row count because here we have the value we are looking for, 6. Okay, And then we use table row to variable. With table row to variable, what we are doing is obtaining several flow variables like this one and row count is the one we are interested on with the value 6. Now we use this variable flow to build a column, additional column that we will attach to the table with this value 6 every for every row and it is done by appending a new column, we call it the column model size, and in flow variables, column value, we choose row count, the flow variable row count. Then we attach this, this column in a string value and then we convert string to number to get this. So we are attaching to the usual result of prediction, we are touching this column with the size of the efficient tree corresponding to the model, the tree that we use to predict is one of the rows. So in this case, in a specific iteration of the cross-validation, for a fall, the value is always the same, 6 in this case. Okay? So, we send the model here of the train from after training to this meta node we have built and with the data from prediction then we aggregate with x aggregator so the result after five iterations of the cross validation in our case will be that for the first iteration first fall the model size was five Second one also five. Third one was four. And the last one was six, as we saw earlier. Now, 
what we want to do is to the error rate table here, which is a summary of the result for each of the five fold in the cross validation, we will attach a new column with the size of the model tree. I forgot to show you the configuration of X partition for using five fold cross validation stratified sampling class and very important to fix the same random seed for all the algorithms we are comparing exactly the same seed okay so with this meta node we are doing whatever we want okay from the result firstly we have this flow with just removing the column field uh, just removing the model size because we will not need uh, anymore and on the other flow we use this column model size mm. okay group by fold and then we have group by fold and then we have the different values depending on the fold in our case all the row with the same number of fold all of them has exactly the same model size so we have y one row per fold per iteration of cross validation and the corresponding model size in each case so we append this column to the statistics to get this uh, here we have a new column model size for is one of the five row then the output of this the second part we have the model size now here let's gonna see how to combine the result of the different uh, algorithms so we have an input per algorithm as we see here the second third fourth and fifth is one it's one of the four algorithms that is available to do with this in case that we have less than four algorithms for computing the model size we fill the other inputs with this table table that we have created with the exactly the columns that we are tiny from this part which is error in percentage size of test set whatever and model size and then we fill uh, this value with zero just to avoid a warning about uh, table empty table so this table we use to to fill the inputs that we want we don't want to use because the idea is to obtain something like that so we have three algorithms and two of them we are using model size in this one we are not using this because of the input is the, this table and then we get non-available uh, value for knife by bias okay to use the names of the algorithm we use this table that we already explained in a previous video when we were talking about precision measures with this table we have a column with the name and the name of the different algorithms i want to 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 include so for example if i will attach a value to the third uh, third input the fourth input but the third algorithm like this and execute we obtain this we obtain a value for the third one okay so it's gonna restore it at the same time if we remove this cell so we have only two row rows then the output is two rows with the model size but we are comparing three algorithms and the total when one of them we don't have the value of the model size so we will include it okay now we will see how to do that with model size 
Okay, we have one flow per, uh, per algorithm and the first input is the name of the algorithms. Okay, all of them are exactly the same. We compute statistics from the this table. Remember that this table is like this. So we are going to compute a statistic to get the mean value of model size. And then we get this. And we are interested in exactly on this column, the mean column of the model size. This is the average of the three, the five uh, fold, folds in the cross-validation. 16.8. So we apply now row filter to include only the row with the name model size, 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 <laughs> and then column filter to obtain only the mean column, and this is what we get, one by one table. With concatenate, we can include the results of the different of the four possible algorithms, like here, if one of them is being fitted by the empty table that we saw earlier, then we will get this nano value. We rename the column for using model size instead na the name mean. So we change the name to model size like this. And we add the names of the table of the algorithms that we are getting from this table remember the name of the algorithms and then we use row id to remove this column and use the column to rename the row id then the final result is this all the algorithms we are using with the different model size of each one of them This result can be attached to a previous table that we saw in a previous video and then the result is the, all, the, all the performance measures of all the classifier, classifier algorithms including the model size, the complexity of the average complexity of the models built for the decision trees. In a different video I will show you how to obtain the complexity measure of other algorithms different from the decision tree but it will be in the future for not now okay hope you enjoy the video see ya